Welcome back. So I'd like to talk to you a little bit about color on websites. And the first thing I want to say is, uh, unless you've taken a color theory class or unless you've taken some design classes, you might not be confident in your color choices. Or to make things worse, you might be confident but not very good at them. Let's see, that's where we were. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about making good color choices. There's a science to it, actually. And if you learn the rules about making color, good color choices, then you won't really make bad mistakes as often. How about if I put that caveat in there? So let's take a peek at the in the folder, Assets and Images folder, at the cake. Since this is the image that's going to go on the website, my thoughts are that our colors ought to match. So what I need to do is just come up with a, some ideas for color for my website so that it doesn't look amateurish. So the first thing I'm going to take you to is a, a color scheme designer, which has been purchased by Paladon. So this color scheme designer site, which I bookmarked for you in the slideshow, uh, is not very different from, let me just go here and actually I'll save that. Let's see, I'll use up this link. Ha, who needs it? This time I'm going to show you the Paladon website. Paladon, oh I spelled that right, wrong. Peloton has one L, I think. Peloton color. It's not that different. Let's see. Here is this link, and here is this one says Peloton.com, and this one says ColorSchemeDesigner.com. They are a little different, but not a lot different. Um, they're probably parts of the same site, but since Color Scheme Designer was purchased by Peloton, my guess is that they're still working out the kinks. Anyway, let's stay here on Color Scheme Designer so I can explain a few things. Here's your color wheel. And what I have selected is monochromatic, which means I would like to see many different shades of the same color. It makes great sense if you're a novice website designer or even if you're an expert website designer to use a monochromatic palette. You can take this dot and bring it around anywhere you want you'll see lots of really great color options. As you hover over these colors, you'll see that you get the hexadecimal code. You can also click these buttons down here and say, I'd like to see a light web page example with these colors. Looks nice, right? Close that. I'd like to see a dark website with these colors. Not bad. You can also choose uh, show sample text. What's great about this is it shows you that on all of these colors, all of them, white text is going to show up best. Now, on this lightest one, black text might be okay, but on none of them will a neutral colored text color work. None of them. So this gives you text examples on the colors so that you'll have some guidance. I can also Choose the complementary colors. Blue and gold are complementary colors. You can see them here on the color wheel. Again, I can float this around. And it's going to give you tints and shades of each of those colors. On the other website, I'll show you how to get value and tints and shades, value and saturation. You can also choose triad. I don't recommend that. It's not, it's just a little bit too colorful for most websites. You won't be able to unify the information. You won't be able to um, highlight specific information very well. And then there's Tetrad, another one that's not a great choice. Analogic, however, this is a great choice. It's three colors that are side by side. Clicking on the middle dot, I can rotate these and get some great options for a website. So let's look at the light page example for this one. There it is. And the dark page example. Not bad, right? They've highlighted the green. When you choose uh, analogic, uh, complementary, or monochromatic, 
and sometimes even accented in a analogic. You can get one color that will, see that right there, that will highlight specific information. My recommendation is to stick with analogic, mono, chromatic, or complementary. All right, let's look at the other Peloton website. Where was it? This was the Peloton one. So at peloton.com, something I've noticed is different is this middle bar. So what you can see is as we go from fully saturated, that's bright red, all the way in a straight line across here, you get less saturation. Less saturation means less color, right? So it's turning gradually black and white. This is a beautiful color scheme, I think but it's gradually going black and white within the same red. Now, conversely, I can go up toward the tints so that I have more tints or down toward the shades so that I have more shades. So there's some options. And again, you're hovering over them to get the color names. So let's see, where did I want, what did I want to show you? One more thing, tables and export. So if I click here, I'll see my color list, and if I go to HTML, it's going to give me the HTML hexadecimal codes for all of that. If I go to CSS, look at this. It gives me, we haven't really talked a lot about the RGB and the RGBA options in styling, but here is what we're looking for, these five colors. Peloton and Color Scheme Designer, they're both just great ways to get colors and make color decisions for your website.